morning everyone, it's The Wanderer and today I'm in one of the few places in the country where you don't want to be if you're wearing a Reading badge. I am in Aldershot, standing right next to Aldershot Town Football Club. Now, the other places you don't want to be of course is Oxford and Swindon, but this isn't about football. This is about nostalgia, this is about my childhood and today, cheers mate, we're on our way to Wimpy. Now I haven't had a Wimpy since I was a kid and this is one of the few places in the country, I think one of 66 Wimpies in the country. So I'm going to go back, see if it's as good as I remember. I've got cameraman Harry, if you think my hidden badge is something you should see what he's got. But with that being said, subscribe if you're new, click the bell to be notified, like the video if you do. And with that being said, let's make a move. Can I go for a quarter pounder meal, regular, and uh, is it a uh, Pepsi, please? Yeah. Order made, order made at 10.59. Uh, being fast food, I'm fully expecting it to get a five star time, but you never know, We've got our drinks in. Um, have to start with service. I'm gonna get a few shots of the menu as well, but um, I went for what I'm absolutely positive I had last time I did a Wimpy. Once again, I was about eight or nine years old. It was one of those things where you're in town with your mum and you know when you're dragged into a clothes shop for about two hours, which is always great fun. Uh, but then obviously Wimpy afterwards and that was fantastic and then of course Wimpy in Reading doesn't exist anymore So here we are in Aldershot service though. I think I'm gonna go down the middle three um, There was there was talk it wasn't above and beyond in my opinion I think it was down the middle. It's what you'd expect three is average three is fine gone for a Pepsi quarter pound of meal chips and uh, Harry went for and this is one of those things again where you get to see two meals Harry went for the Wimpy Grill, if I may describe that for you. A pork bender, a Wimpy burger, a fried egg, griddled tomato slice and chips. That sounds absolutely massive. I'm going to show you guys the menu while we wait for the food to arrive. Also, I don't know if you noticed this, guys. We started off in Reading gear, and, and I still have. He was Arsenal last time. Look at him now. I would just like to point out, he doesn't support all those teams, but he is a bit of an avid football shirt collector. But um, that's the excuse we'll say, you, you little plastic. <laughs> And I was also right on the money about the time. It actually arrived in just under five minutes in true fast food fashion. I'm gonna show you my quarter pounder. I'm gonna show you Harry's griddle. Let's see what you think about this. So I am really, really excited for this one. Presentation, um, I love that these chips come in this little bowl. I'm obviously about to spoil that right now. <laughs> okay, we'll put that on there. Um, presentation, I mean, for me, I think it looked pretty, again, down the middle. A burger on its own, a chips on its own. Didn't look too fancy, but again, it's fast food. What do you expect? Presentation, I'm gonna go, 
I'm going to go another three. Three out of five. We got a five on the time, of course, as you know as well, five time. Carries looks amazing, I have to say. I mean, but again, I'm looking at that. I don't know, I'm finding that hard to grade. I think um, I'm going to go four, four on that one. I think, have another little look at that before I go into mine. Just, it just, yeah. I mean, it does, it looks a little bit of all right, doesn't it? But important thing now, first time since, for years, years and years, I hope it's worth, I hope it's worth it. We'll start off with a fry, gauge it against the McDonald's Burger King. Fries are alright. Actually, I think they're a little bit. I don't think they're as good as Mackey's or Burger King. A little bit on the bland side. I think. Um, I've done that in some sauce. How's it? Don't know what tomato sauce they use though, but that really is nice. Really improved the, the chips there. Do one more before I get into the burger. Mm. Fries not the best, but it's not about the fries, it's about this. Look at this. I mean that, losing a bit of it, right? Here we go, let's see if it's as good as I remember. Right, it's nice. The special sauce in there, I think, is trying too much to be like the um, the Big Mac sauce. You get a bit of the um, burger on its own. Obviously this is the Right. I'll let you know my thoughts when I finished. Um, let's just get into it, and um, yeah, I think quite interesting. really wanted to come outside and review this one guys um you know how they say like you should never meet your heroes well it's kind of like that kind of feeling like after 25 at least 25 years of not having a wimpy and i used to remember i used to love wimpy when i was a kid absolutely adored it first one in 25 years i was hoping to get the taste of like that childhood back and i have to say i'm not impressed not impressed at all it says a lot when the best thing on your burger was the lettuce the burger sauce was like the kind of stuff that you can buy in the supermarkets. It tried to be like a McDonald's Big Mac sauce. The burger itself, I, I looked at the patty and it's like, right, let's put it this way. When you go to Burger King, you get a unique experience. When you go to McDonald's, you get a unique experience. When I ate that patty, all I was thinking of, frozen pound shop burgers that have been sat on a hot plate for God knows how long. It came instantly, as you know, but you know, that's fast food, that's, that's fair enough. But in my opinion, it just didn't taste right. The chips were bland. I'm not gonna improve the score because I added tomato sauce on it. I can't do that. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go two. Two on Wimpy. Uh, so that's uh, five time, three presentation, uh, three service, and uh, two on taste. That's a 13 out of 20, saved by the first time. I have to say Wimpy is, it's, it's not good. And um, Harry was scoring his. Egg was fantastic, apparently, um, but you were sort of in the middle. Three out of five on taste. Overall, and I have to say as well, £11.15 for £5 less, I can go to McDonald's and get twice the satisfaction. Wimpy, absolutely awful. I wouldn't do that again. And I'm absolutely gutted, because as I say, I remember for years and years, I wish we had Wimpy back. I love that. I'm I'm glad it's not in Reading anymore, I'm sorry. So with that being said, and that's a bit of a downer, isn't it? Again, 13 out of 20, saved by time. I'm the Wanderer, guys. Subscribe if you're new. Click the bell to be notified. And with that being said, 
On a bad note, bye for now. Well, I thought I was done with this video, and thanks for sticking around uh, post-outro, but Harry's just reminded me of something. One of my own rules. Yeah, I gave the time a five, and it was hot plate food, so uh, you have to remember, and I will put it in the edit, you have to put an asterisk on that time. So if you take away the time, as I say, I mean, it was, it's already a bad experience. The final score is an average score, but let's, let's, let's face it, take away the time, and it was well below average. I'm sorry, um... That's really, really got me down, that, that wimpy has. I'm going to remember this for the rest of my days. Anyway, bye again.